Hello, this is a K10 upright piano made in 1977, just come into stock. So just assessing it to see what sort of work might improve the piano. Um, cosmetically, it, it needs tidying up here and there and it's lost its name. That's quite common for Knight to lose these um, letters here. So what very, what very often happens is it gets replaced with a, a Knight plaque. This is the plaque that the trade used to supply for knights. We have one left, I believe, so we might put that on. Knights of this age often had a bench, and it's big enough for a duet stool, so that's useful. And you could put a cushion on if you find it a bit too firm. As usual, we've made a worksheet to see what sort of work might improve the piano. Um, so you can see the work list here. Clean the keys, that's been done. Pitch raise 438.5. 441 that should have, should say so we a little bit more above concert so it's got chance to drop down but apparently it hadn't been tuned since 2014 so and it's extremely stable we haven't tuned it since it's been in as you'll see it sounds very much in tune that's typical night um, regulate the cricket bats just slight wear on the cricket bats so to show you that so down here we can see just it's not a huge amount but just taking up any slack uh, so that's something that we need doing. The action generally hasn't got slack in it, just the cricket bats. And the pedal, that needs regulating. Over the years, the pedal does develop a bit of slack, and that's not lifting the dampers off enough, really. So we've just got to adjust that slightly. So this is just turning the screw to make the pedal more operative. So now it's lifting it off, the dampers off quite a lot further. Um, that's slightly more than they need to be, but that'll give us a f quite a few, say, a decade or so before it will need adjusting again. While we have the bottom panel off, the night strings are angled, very uh, good angle on them, and the bridge is quite far into the soundboard, which is very helpful. Very well designed pianos. Night soundboards are very close grained, and they carry this plaque, uh, sorry, this label on the back, which says the soundboard is manufactured from genuine European spruce, which is used the identical material used in the Stradivarius violin. So very fastidious firm. Because of their extremely heavy frames, they uniquely have the rear caster just offset slightly there, so the piano doesn't sit doesn't sit flush to the wall. The action's in perfect condition. It doesn't really need any regulation. There's no slack in the keys here, um, and really has have very very little use we're obviously choosing knights that have very little use it's very important for us to choose um ones that aren't very worn so you can see just showing the regulation of the dampers coming off at halfway or just past halfway and very consistent so the touch is excellent we purchased the piano from the granddaughter of the original owner and uh, i noticed with the removal sticker on the back was moved from Poole to Cambridge. There was a piano tuner from Ilford and we purchased the piano when it was in Carefully in Wales. Now the key weighting needs refining on the piano. I've made a note of the down weight here. So 47 grams, middle C, 47 here. That's pretty consistent. Very slightly on the light side, so we can leave it like that if you want. The very slightly light, so 49 well really 4852 is what we're aiming for so that's not too bad and when it gets a bit heavier in the base it's too heavy here though so that'll have to be lightened up and that's a bit on the heavy side and interesting enough the very top of the piano was heavy at 60 so that should be really between say 48 and 50 53 54 is the kind of range we're going for there's middle c there going down at 47 grams so uh, 48 52 is what we're normally aiming for. So that's a Knight K10 upright piano made in 1977. And uh, as you will have seen from other videos and other pianos, it's one of our favourite makes and models. Extremely stable pianos. This one wasn't tuned s since 2014, apparently. And you would hardly tell it's out of tune, it's just dropped in pitch slightly may not have been used obviously since then but they are remarkably stable pianos and they often have a plaque on them saying that this piano uh, has been designed to withstand any heating or humidity in the whole world they exported a lot of pianos so um, very fastidiously made 
we're choosing ones that aren't too worn this one we need to definitely tidy the casework and uh, get as we mentioned earlier the night name sorted out there if you have any thoughts about that we'd be very grateful to know it's also missing the L of London here so we'll have to decide what to do there too but apart from the cosmetics it's really not very worn and uh, just needs regulating and and also the touch finely weighted Certainly the sort of piano I'd like to play and play all day. So uh, if you're interested in the piano, please do email us info at robertspianos.com uh, with any questions. And if you'd like us to, you can also uh, call us and do a video call while we're in front of the piano and we can show you more aspects of it. If you want to try the piano out then we have special rental schemes whereby you can try it out and then whatever you paid out will come off the purchase price of the piano afterwards. Tremendous clarity of tone. Thank you very much for listening.